this is Isabella J and in today's video I am finally back with a life update this time. I feel like every time I go missing I feel somewhat inclined to kind of let you guys know why I went missing. And so that's what this video is. So if you guys want to know why then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so my intro was a little awkward for me because I just haven't been doing YouTube in a while and I think also the fact that I've recorded this video about three times now is kind of throwing me off because I kind of already know what I want to talk about. I just have to like reiterate it in a better way than I did in the first two videos because they just were not going well at all. For one, I want to start off by saying thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I gained over like a hundred plus subscribers in the past, I guess two months since I've been gone. And I just wanted to say thank you. Also, the reason why I'm even doing the video now is because a subscriber actually commented on my most recent video and they're like, oh, they were like, where you at? You came too far to stop now, let's go. And I was like, you so right. Like, if there was a reason or like if there was somebody or something that I needed to like kind of push me to get back to this, it was definitely that comment. So I just wanted to say thank you to Ken, I don't know if it's Kensha or Kenesha, but thank you for commenting on my video and for like checking in on me. Also, thank you to Erica and Sarah and so many other people who have been checking in on me and seeing how I am and just telling me in the comment section like hey we miss you not my comment section but like on Instagram so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram please do so I have been posting more consistently on Instagram and I kind of did take a little bit of a break on Instagram as well and to just jump right into it for one with everything going on in the media with like black lives matter and everything it was kind of i was kind of in a weird space with posting because i didn't want to be like insensitive to what was going on in the world so i really didn't feel comfortable posting to instagram or even to youtube for me i can consume things to like a very very deep level so when i see things in the media and when i see things just happening in the world or like something could be happening to the people around me I really take that in and it just really affects me so like I have to step away from people and things especially social media because when things like that happen and when it like goes viral everybody's posting about it and then shortly after that because I was kind of still posting around that time but it was just very seldom here and there um, I started to have very troublesome like computer problems and also around that time I was kind of already having computer problems it just wasn't that bad so my computer stopped connecting to Wi-Fi for some reason my computer was the only computer in the house doing this and um, it got to the point where I would have to upload videos from my phone and that took like an hour or so just to do and as you guys know I do upload a lot of my videos around 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. and so I would be uploading at like 8 o'clock and sometimes because it was on my phone it would take 40 minutes to an hour plus and so I would miss the mark to upload my video for that day and I have been on a consistent schedule with uploading Tuesday Thursday Saturday if not that Monday Wednesday Friday and so I was a little disheartened about that and by the time I was able to get my computer to work properly I was fed up with the process of like editing everything and then having to go through that again so I had kind of started to like feel like I needed a break around that time and then to fast forward I had started traveling and uh, my photography business had started to pick up because I did actually launch my website so if you didn't know now you know I did launch my website which y'all know I've been talking about for months now on my channel I've always been talking about like just me being an entrepreneur and um finally getting up this super tedious website and honestly building up the courage to even post about it because I wanted it to be so perfect and God bless that the way that my launch went I'm taking off my shoes but the way that my launch went um it was amazing like I was honestly overwhelmed by the amount of support that I had gotten from the people around me and um also it was just a huge milestone for me as a photographer because like you're supposed to have a website and i decided to wait like till year two to make mine so 
that was something and yeah so I launched my website and then I started to pick up clients again and with these clients I've actually started to travel so I am back and forth between Detroit and Atlanta my brother John actually moved to Atlanta and we were going back and forth traveling there for um, my business and John's business as well I've been trying to establish myself as like a traveling photographer and so in that time I thought that I'd be able to like kind of post videos because I had recorded for the entire month of May but I just didn't get the chance to put those videos out because of my computer and then I get there to Atlanta end of May early June and uh I dropped my computer on the floor and the screen went out completely. And then come to find out, once I was getting it fixed, not only did my screen go out, but the touch bar went out. And that's like a crucial part for my computer specifically because that's how you turn the computer on. So it wasn't turning on at all and the screen was out. So, um, yeah, that was a huge problem. So I've been having computer trouble for like the past two, three months. And then on top of that, because I've been having the computer trouble, I've been backed up on projects with photography and since I do get paid for photography um, those had to go out first just because I'm getting paid by other people and you know as a business owner I have to make sure that I keep up with my stuff and that was just like taking a major toll on me because I felt like at the time I was overworking myself and I also felt like I didn't give myself enough room to breathe on top of the amount of traveling that I was doing and just in the past few months I just haven't felt like myself so you know just considering everything going on like I just was kind of taking life by day so to speak so I just was like you know this is a lot so I'm finally in a place where I finished the majority of the projects that I've done and all of my paid work is done at this time as well I have like a few more projects but those are like kind of personal projects that I can get done on my own time and so I'm finally ready to like commit to coming back to YouTube and posting again but I'm pretty sure the reason why you all are actually here was not because of the mumbo jumbo that I just spoke about but it was about my weight loss because that's very important so in the past two months since I explained that I have been kind of going through it I did decide to pump the brakes on keto now here's why and I know y'all probably gonna be like Isabella and I'll be like listen listen I am not quitting that's not what this is but I the way that I was doing things back in like May was fine it was fine enough for me to get to you know 70 pounds down which just to clarify I am still maintaining 70 pounds down I'm not sure if I was doing it like lazy keto which I kind of feel like I was which would make the most sense if I was because it wasn't really strict keto and it wasn't hardcore keto either. Well, I, either. I, yeah, it wasn't hardcore keto. So kind of fast forward, I felt like I was just, I, I kept explaining to you guys that I'm like, I'm, I'm retaining salt. I'm retaining salt. I'm retaining salt. I would wake up, my face would be bloated. I would wake up, my neck would be looking some type of way. My hands and my feet would be feeling some type of way. Um... Also, my blood circulation was just kind of off around that time and I just have been having a lot of symptoms of something very specific, which I'm not going to really speak out about right now, but in due time I will. And I just personally was like, oh, this ain't it. So I'm not going to lie and say like, oh, I didn't consider quitting keto completely. But I did have to do some extensive research to like kind of figure out what the culprit was and why I was feeling the way that I was feeling. And I just realized it was just because of how I was doing it. I think that I just was overdoing it with, with the food and also the amount of sugar that I was intaking. And as we all know, or if you don't know, you're not really supposed to have sugar on keto like at all. I believe so that was a major problem for me because I'm thinking eating these carb smart bars and just trying out all of these different foods and things was fine but it actually wasn't and so I found out that the carb smart bars that I put on the screen that actually takes you out of ketosis and I found out from a TikTok actually which y'all know TikTok if you if you watch if you be on there it's very informative I don't know where these people come from and why they start to put the information on the internet but I'm glad that they did because it really kind of opened my eyes because I was eating a lot of carb smart bars like when I say a lot 
I mean a lot like when I decided because it was around I believe the end of May and I was like oh these only five grams of carbs like you know it's fine I can have it I ate a few of them and um, it's a specific ingredient in those bars and I can insert the clip right here But it's a specific ingredient that's in it that I guess takes you out of ketosis. So um, I'll put the definition of it on the screen and I'll also kind of, you know, let the video play. But um, that makes a lot of sense outside of the keto, the keto ice cream, like the actual keto ice cream. That was completely fine for me and I would eat those. I could eat half of the pint or I could eat the whole pint and I would still be fine or maintaining weight or even dropping weight. All I know is that this time around doing keto, I really want to make sure that I buckle down on how I'm doing it and what I'm doing. And also, I need to be a little bit more proactive with like being mindful of what I try and what I'm doing for content because I think that the reason why I was even in the predicament that I was in was because I was enjoying making those what I eat in a week videos and I enjoyed the feedback that I got from you all so I was like oh let me start trying a bunch of keto stuff and it's like I was kind of putting myself at risk for some very detrimental things so um i'm definitely gonna be cooling it on the processed food this time around i'm not gonna say completely but just i'm gonna cook more and i also plan to implement more fish and stuff too and more vegetables like leafy greens that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope that it kind of gave you guys a little bit of information on like where i've been at understand that i'm not quitting keto i am not quitting this weight loss journey i know i came this far not to come this far God ain't bring me this far not to come this far, so, you know, I'm here with it. And I'm on a roll to, to 300 pounds, y'all. Like, let me tell y'all, I hit 329 in the past few months. I don't know if I mentioned it on my channel yet, but I did. I hit 329. I broke through the 20s. I am not currently in the 20s, though. But I know why. I ain't been eating. Well, the past month, I ain't been eating bad. But, like, in the past two months, I haven't been, like... I ain't been trying to like keep up with my journey and it's also because I was traveling so I was trying to chill just a little bit but I'm back I'm better than ever and I just pray that you guys will continue on this journey with me and that we can all reach our goals together so follow me on Instagram because like I said I have been more consistent so I have been posting only thing that I need to start posting again is like my video content like YouTube and all of that um, I also plan to start a series on Instagram, so, you know, look out for that. Last but not least, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and also turn on the post notification bell. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video.